Show your face! Got a good clean race today. Absolutely no funny business. First mistake, last mistake. Damn it! What is it now? Something comes Who the fuck is that? Damn it! Screw this! All the touches I've come to expect from the Brotherhood. Hey. Just let me know. Piper. Mm, time for some travel fuel. Want one? Your thoughts? Have any more questions about the Institute's enemies, Blue? We should get going. All right. On whose authority? By the authority of Elder Arthur Maxson, Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood of Steel. Now I'll repeat my question. What are you doing here? I prefer to keep my business to myself. If you refuse to cooperate, I have strict shoot-to-kill orders. You sure you want to head down that path? I, I was hoping to track down the owners of that huge airship. I'm no stranger to these installations. My husband was in the military. Really? Well then, you might just be in luck. With your experience, you might...
might actually fit in with the Brotherhood. We're always looking to add a few more brothers and sisters to our ranks. If you think you have what it takes. Will it get me aboard that airship? If you live long enough to make the rank of night, you'll have full access. Head over to the Cambridge Police Station and look for Paladin Dance. He's in charge of our new recruits, and I'm certain he'll be glad to have an extra gun on his team. Ad Victorium, civilian, and good luck. I don't have time for you right now. Excuse me. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? In due time. If you want to remain in our compound, I suggest you answer my question first. I prefer to keep my business to myself. Then, if there's nothing left to discuss, I suggest you leave our compound immediately. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Have you decided to cooperate and tell me what brought you here? Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you really? You owe us that much. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. I've been trying to send a distress call to our vessel at Boston International Airport, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station. But I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The Deep Range Transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology. Its power. It's meaning to us as humans, and we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. So you steal technology and keep it for yourselves? You're implying that we do this to benefit ourselves. I can assure you our motivation is quite the opposite. So, what do you say? Will you help us? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Halen. Take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. We'll take this alley. Follow me. Hey, Linda. 
detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. Looks like we missed the party. You're making a foolishly hasty assessment. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out.
Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled. Prop command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. Three. Efficiency rating of 96.7%. Oh my god! Point Are seven you alright? Percent. cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Going down. Going up. Hey, what you got for me? Shoot. That was all I had, okay? Paladin dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. 
I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. When we met at the police station, you told me you wanted to join the Brotherhood of Steel. Is that something you're still willing to do? Or should we just say our goodbyes? I don't know. I got your back. No matter whose target you paint on there. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. Hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, whoa, time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion. Program. What do you care? She ain't one of us. Yeah. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the Lomi. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Hey, Valentine. Let's go talk to Amari. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp 
Kellogg is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who could make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? How much of the brain do you need, exactly? That is not an encouraging question. I suppose I'll have to make do with whatever you can find. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. So, the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay, so the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. Hey. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But... What if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Any idea of what I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. That makes it official, folks. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. 
This may prove disorienting at first. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like, before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out! Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're good And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I... I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of... Great. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, Come on, huh? you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself.
So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Just dumb as possible. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Manual Connecting now. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Just Hopefully it's all... Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some... Soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thawed out, at least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Are you okay? Come here. No. Come here, buddy. No. I got him! Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh... I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long.
Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a Forget priority. I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Kind of side effects Take a look at the procedure this. might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? I saw Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. The man I killed. That's right. He was a human being just like the rest of us. And he had reasons for being what he was. However cruel. How does that make you feel? I'm... I'm not sure, Doctor. I don't know if there's any right way to feel. Either. We're getting off track. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret teleportation. The only question is, what do we do now? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the Reds. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. So, you're not an idiot. Uh, thanks, I guess. No, I, I didn't mean like... I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. Becoming you? 
What do you mean? I'm just terrified she's gonna start taking up like her big sis. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking, maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl, and all around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away, because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. <laughs> You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Just friends, huh? Uh, well, yeah. I guess, but I, th I thought so. Unless, you know, something changes. God, did it get hot in here? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you wanna hit the road? Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. What did you say? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's gotta make a point sometimes. You all right? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Of the people, for the people. Oh, brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. if you change your mind. Oh, oh, oh. 
Bingo.
Just let me know. This gives me the willies. Something's not right here. Hey. You say the word. Hey, Piper. You look like you could use a pick-me-up. Terminal's gotta be somewhere. Blue word. I see you! <laughs> and say what a hundred years and this place would be right as rain Peace at once the vault doors were meant to withstand a direct nuclear strike your attempts to breach this facility are last to leave at once <laughs> Or there will be consequences. When will you tire of this futility? Whoever you are, 
Thanks for your help fighting them off. What did they want? They were raiders. What do you think they wanted? Jesus fucking Christ! Everything we've got at a minimum. Maybe also kill us all or worse. Anyway, we appreciate the help.
Good. Very good. Vault-Tec workshops require their control board to function. During emergencies, the procedure is to store it in the reactor room. Look in there, and you should find it. Excuse me. You aren't what I was expecting. You do have a pit boy. You're from a vault. But you're clearly not with vault -Tec. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? I heard the vault -Tec radio beacon, and I came. Those intruders must have triggered it by attempting to force the main door. I wasn't actually expecting anyone to answer it. After all this time... My name is Valerie Barstow, and I was to be the overseer of this vault. But please... Follow me. I have a proposal for it's you. It's been a hard 200 years. I was giving a tour of what was to be my pride and joy. My vault. Then, the earthquakes. Sirens. Then he died. Perhaps they were lucky. Stop, Julian. What are you doing? Your last watch it. The construction crew didn't fare as well as me. They've never done anything hostile towards me, though. It's probably best if you put them out of their misery. I'll wait for you to finish. It's digging my way to the entrance. With that control board, I could have changed everything. But there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle. But my work kept me going. Here, among these papers, is my life's work. I'd like to share it with Dr. you. Dr. Braun tasked me with something vital. A series of prototypes and their related, well, experiments. That could redefine but, society. But, as you can see, things did not go according to plan. What are these... Experiments? Ingenious devices that will improve the efficiency and health of a community. They are admittedly prototypes and may have a design flaw or two. But nothing that can't be fixed with some elbow grease. You mentioned Dr. Braun? Who is he? Dr. Braun is the head of the Societal Preservation Plan. A brilliant scientist and administrator. And no doubt dead. A tremendous loss. Go on. This vault was meant to be spacious, full of trained staff, trusted subordinates and scientists. Despite how things have played out, I see opportunity. Let us work together, as partners. What's my role? I recognize that you are in a superior bargaining position. I'll handle the mundane nuts and bolts of vault. Anything you want, I'm happy to accommodate. 
All I ask is you run the prototype experiments. Let's do this then. Good. Excellent. We cannot begin until I have my overseer's desk to run the experiments. The information in the desk's terminal will prove vital. I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault 88. <clears throat> I can hardly believe it. My overseer's desk. After all this time. <clears throat> this. Please, I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long. But we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. I'm not gonna toy with people's lives. Think of the greater good here. But fine. You're running the experiment. If you choose a risk-free path, it will compromise the value of the research. But that's on your head. Choose wisely. Now. Turn on the vault's radio beacon. Certainly people above ground would give anything to live in our vault. While we wait for word to spread. Perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments. Really lasted 200 years inside these tin cans? Out of my bad. Excuse me. Just a moment and we can begin. Please, step forward. Ah, yes. Welcome. Welcome. So, this here's a vault, right? Quite correct. And you could be one of our lucky new residents. You do got food in this vault, right? Of course. And a chance at a new life. A question or two first, however. What do you think is the role of a good government? Government? What the hell are you talking about?
we're with the Reformed Raider Party. So tell me, can we count on your vote in what? November? Whatever this is, Armandi. Yes. Sorry about my associates. Yes. Humor. You won't do for our special assignment. But welcome to our vault. Your new If home? she is representative of what's left above. The outside world must be rougher than I Are imagined. Are you ready for the next interview? Let's continue. All right. Hello. Welcome to Vault 88. This is a real nice place you have here. Real nice. And I can go wherever I like, Within right? reason, yes. But I have a question for sure, you. Sure, sure. What do you want to know? A hypothetical. Let's say the reactor core is melting down, and you're the only one who Is there something stop it. wrong with your reactor? No, no, it's fine. Just pretend so you can stop the meltdown. But you'd suffer from extreme radiation exposure. What well, would you whatever do? Well, whatever you like. If you don't mind, I'm anxious to look around. If you're thinking about ripping us off, don't. Listen, it's hell up there. If you really give me food and a place to stay, I'll be Just good. don't go expecting me to jump in a reactor for you. I think we could use him in our vault. As long as you guys are on the level, I'll give this thing a try. Honest. I appreciate your... Candor. You can stay, but you're not what we're looking Go for. Go ahead and get acquainted with your new home. What a colorful gentleman. Clearly, he won't work for our experiments. Here's hoping third time's a charm. Just for clarification, what's specifically wrong with An him? obvious liar would invalidate any subjective responses we need from a test subject. No, he just wouldn't do at all. Let's do the next interview, then. As you say, hello. Welcome to your new home. Wow. A real overseer. I, I am so happy to be here. Hi. My name is uh, Clem. Yes. Clem, is it? Before you settle in, I have some questions. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. I I'll answer anything you well, like. Well, uh, that's good. Here's a scenario. You've been assigned guard duty. You know, stand watch and make sure outsiders don't breach the perimeter. But from inside the vault, you hear a woman screaming. What would you do? You want me to guard something? Sure. Uh, I can do that. I can do that right now, if you but want. But I don't hear any screaming, Lady Overseer. Nothing to be nervous about. Think about it, and answer. Yeah, s sorry. Well, if you tell me to guard, I guard. And I won't leave my post unless you tell me to. Is Another is question okay? for you. What can you tell me about your mother? Oh, she passed. But she was nice. You would have liked her. She killed... She killed more really? at once. Uh, that's remarkable. Describe the traits you most admire well, about she her. she was strong because of the mole rat. And she, uh, uh, she... She God, fed me. I I'm sorry. Th this place is so much better than the ditch I was living in. Surely there are other traits you liked about well, her. Well, no matter how bad things got, she put us kids first. She fought until the end, too. We're looking for a volunteer, Clem. Someone to test some new devices that will help everyone. Are you interested? You mean I can stay? I-I-I I mean, yes! I'll help out. I like That's help. me, Clem. Always willing to help yes. out. Yes. <sighs> I think you'll do nicely. And no time like the present to commence. Now that we have, um, Clem, we are ready to... The first step is to get him properly equipped and dressed. I'm just so excited to be here. I'll do good. 
<clears throat> Our first vault residence. What a moment. But on to business. Exercise is an inherently selfish activity. Instead of using every hour, every minute, to further the goals of the community, a resident instead improves their body past the minimum Vault-Tec has devised a solution. The Power Cycle 1000. While you pedal, you provide raw power to the Vault. A perfect answer to an inherently counterproductive practice. Your argument is wrong on so many levels. If you are so convinced exercise is good, then refine the power cycle to make it better. Moving the on. prototype is far from perfect. There were incidences during its R&D. Maybe even the stray cerebral hemorrhage. Let me download the schematic to your pip boy. Build it and attach a terminal to choose the parameters of the experiment. Work Clem hard. Give me power. Broken. I'll just keep pedaling. Clem. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I broke your vault. I just got so excited and I wanted to do a good job and I kept pedaling faster and faster. And then the whole vault went kablooey. Please don't kick me out. I was looking well. at the data for the power Promise. cycle. Marvelous work. The power cycle intelligently forced our test subject to pedal to My his heart's limits. still pounding, Overseer. I... I... Uh, oh, cheer up, Clem. You could have pedaled at the rate of another 10 or 15 minutes without long-term effects. Say so. For the next experiment, We'll need something from outside. vault subcontracted out chemical research to Hallucigen Incorporated. It was supposed to be delivered before. Well, but before. With the mail service out of commission, other arrangements must be made. Nice. You know, the Great War did a whole lot more than ruin mail uh, routes. After all these years, I can hardly wrap my head around the enormity of the tragedy. Please, can we just, just focus get on Overseer this? Barstow's package from the HQ? Once we have that, we can start the next experiment. Ah! I'll do I have well. those chemical formulas Promise. for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain. It's a mess. vault scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to... socialize. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good. With chemistry. What? Aren't chemicals bad for oh, you? Oh, Clem, you worry so much, my boy. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, oh, don't you know? Oh, right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. These are just... special chemicals. <laughs> what type of chemicals are we talking about? Well, that's up to you. But from what I've read, the R&D folks really outdid themselves. It's okay. You can trust us, Clem. Indeed. After all, we're with vault -Tec. <laughs> So build the soda fountain, and then serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, 
Feel free to have a cool, refreshing Gee, beverage. Thanks. The soda fountain shows enormous potential. Wow. <clears throat> you here to check up? I got a customer right here. Didn't see you at dinner. I had a pee. One pee. I'm stuffed. Well, if you want another drink. Sure. Maybe that'll help. Excuse me. To think we've turned the simple soda fountain into something noble. Ah, it fills me with pride. On to the next prototype. Ugh, the Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin texts, but that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish Doctors. here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective You understand, good. of course. Let's stop with the Philosophy 101, and get to the of job. Of course. So, enter the Voltec Foraptor, a specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's but eyesight. Potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But the results will be worth it. Your ideas keep getting worse. Terrible. We've perfected two prototypes already. This is what progress looks and like. And don't concern yourself too much about the nuclear material. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside so, the caves. Dig deep and get what we need. Yes? Excuse me. Let's check in with Clem. Oh, hi. Listen, I just need another try on that machine. My luck's about to turn around. I can feel- Yes, Clem. You find some more money. That slot machine will pay out soon. Look, I'm tired of running all these tests. Then be glad. It's done. Finally. Hundreds of years of refining and planning. And you did marvelously. vault would be so proud. With my life's work done, I think I will deliver our schematics to other vaults to improve their lives. The vaults I know about have all failed. They're empty. Or worse. The world's a big place. And you should never underestimate Vault Tech. <laughs> I pass the mantle on to you. Guide Vault 88 to greatness. You're the overseer now. Please, take care of the vault. No, no, no! Yeah. <laughs> Help me! Is everything okay between us? Not a lot of complaints at the moment. And if you can ask around, that is a rare occurrence. Your thoughts? I'm glad we could help these folks, but I hope this doesn't mean we're falling in with the Brotherhood. Last thing I need is more people yelling at me. Nothing else for now. Okay. If you're looking to trade, then let's Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. 
This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility run entirely by robots. There's not even one person here? Thought this place was creepily tidy. That's right, darling. We are entirely self-sufficient, with no need for human guidance. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision-making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. I remember him. He was one of Rodko's senior engineers, but uh, more than a little eccentric. You seem a bit confused, darling. You're far too young to remember anything that happened before the war. It's a long story. Of course, darling. A lady knows when not to pry. Now, where was I? Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality. As do the other supervisors. You are quite the firecracker. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? I'm with the Minutemen. Did you need help with something? Why, yes. That's what I was getting at, dear. The water. It's simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. If you Minutemen can lend us a hand, I'll be eternally grateful. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old Western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Can you see a damn thing?
surface. Right. That's marvelous, darling. Simply marvelous. Here, you can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. Now I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! I found out what those robots in Grey Garden needed and took care of it. Even better, they want to be Minutemen. Huh. I guess I never thought of robots being Minutemen. But why not? If they're willing, I guess we can use them. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Mr. Finch. Hey, you! Oh, sorry. Thought you might be one of those forged maniacs, but you don't have the burns. A group of them took over the old ironworks, and they'll shoot you just as soon as look at you. Who are the forged? Bunch of trumped-up raiders, obsessed with fire and metal. That bastard son of mine, Jake, snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. It's the closest thing I've got to an heirloom. I don't guess you'd be crazy enough to try and get it back for me. I've got caps, if that's what you want. What about your son, Jake? You don't care what happens to him? I didn't raise my boys to be raiders. As far as I'm concerned, he's dead to me. Can you tell me anything else about the Forged? They're led by a guy named Slag. Came in from outside of the Commonwealth a few months back and started recruiting. Mostly they've just been strong armored folks, but with how quick they've been growing, it's just a matter of time till the raids get worse. What kind of a sword am I looking for? One of them old pre-war swords, rigged up to shoot flames from the blade. Probably why Jake thought they'd let him join. So, what do you say? I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor, and I'll make it up to you as best as I can.
Hey, something's out there. Tries to leave, kill her. You must be pretty strong to make it here. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Slash. We are the four. Got you. See, Jake, here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But you're gonna kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please, let me go. What's You're right. Gonna be, Jake? I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the Forge. I just want to go home. Last chance, Jake. If you don't kill the prisoner before I count to three, well, it's over. One. Hell, two. Three. <laughs> Sorry, I, I messed up. I panicked. What were you doing with those guys anyway? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I just... I thought we'd be raiding outside of the Commonwealth. And that I if I joined them, I could provide for my family. I don't know. God, my dad's right. I'm such an idiot. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask. But I bet if you're there to explain... Things with my dad would go easier. I bet if you bring my great-granddad's sword, he he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with people. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm. What the? Boy, I told you this. Abraham, what's going your on? Face here again, Is I... that my boy come home? What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Papa, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, if... Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to Find them. sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, so the son of a grown huh? man. You better stop treating him like a child. Your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. And if I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. Something I've been wanting to ask you. Yeah, well, I've been kind of been expecting that. Go on, then. Why'd you do it? Why'd you turn your back on us? On your family? I guess it was because I was angry. 
I was angry at this life, at the idea that I might never amount to anything more than just a farmer scraping by. I blame Dad for that. <laughs> It was wrong. I know that. I thought I saw something. Oh, oh I'm gonna be sick. Abraham. She's right. I've been a fool. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's something for your help. I think you should hang on to that sword. It put a smile on Granddad's face to know it was being used to help people. I don't think we've met yet. It's not everything we expected. But we're willing to work hard to make this a home we can be proud of. So, is there anything you need me to get started on? Did you need anything? Well, to be honest, we're a bit short of food. Anything you could do would be appreciated. Please, just... Wait. You're not with the Gunners. Are you here to help us out? Gunners giving you trouble? It's the Gunners. We caught a group of them sneaking around a few days ago and had a bit of a dust-up. They ran off too easy once they saw we were gonna fight back. Gunners never back down that quickly. If you can help us shore up our defenses, it sure would help us out a ton. Can't make any promises, but I'll stand by you. Well, that's something. We'll take any help we can get. The Gunners will just smash up anything they find here to make an example of us. So if there's something you can use for the defenses, feel free.
Yeah! Take that! We won! You Minutemen really know how to bring the fight. We won't forget what you've done for us. Let's trade some things. Sure. This is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Ada, loop this message. Yes, sir. 